That's exactly right, uh, Mark and Aaron. As we're here on Virginia Avenue and South 26th Street here in Fort Pierce, and just take a look at the amount of water that has inundated this community. Now we're talking about an area that uh, is uh, very popular in Fort Pierce. In fact, you can see a car uh, driving through some of this water right now. I I don't encourage you to do that because. Uh, me and my photographer Thomas Bradley on our way in struggled to uh, find our way here just because of the amount of uh, water. Now we did uh, drive down a number of side streets and if you can take a look um, right down the street, you can see that um, these are mailboxes, halfway up to the mailboxes. And as I'm walking in the water, you can just see as, as I walk further uh, back, it gets deeper and deeper and that becomes even more dangerous. Now, if you look further that way, you can see how high the water is as it's creeping in people's driveways and potentially could flood some homes in this area. And uh, the rain, it comes, it rains for a uh, short period of time, then it could be long stretches, uh, periods of rain, and uh, the rain's starting to come down a little bit harder right now. So we've been seeing a lot of rain, as Sandra has uh, been saying, and I'm not sure, I'm not looking at the uh, forecast models right now to see how much more rain uh, Fort Pierce is going to receive. But um, uh, many people in this community are going to be waking up this morning, uh, looking at their streets as it is a stream, and uh, many of the roads look like rivers. Uh, Sandra, we just checked in with Sandra and she said 10 and a half inches of rain has actually fallen in the Fort Pierce area, which would um, be an indicator of why you're seeing what you're seeing right now. I do have a question for you. I can see some street lights behind you, but other than that, I mean, I know it's not quite 6 a.m., but it looks very dark in that neighborhood. Does it appear that people may be out of power in that area? I mean, there are street lights, and here goes that uh, rain that I'm talking about. It is coming down extremely hard. There are street lights in this area, uh, Aaron, um, but the problem right now is really the rain that is coming down, and I believe it's one of those bands from Hurricane Am uh, Irma. I, I mean, it is coming down, and I don't think this community can take on any more water. As you can tell, it's already flooded. It, and and now we're getting a break. You're getting a break. It just comes and goes. It's, it's exactly what you were saying. Really quickly, while you do have a break, do you see any homes that may have sandbags? Wondering if that's an area that typically floods and maybe they were prepared for that. It's again, it's dark. It's hard to tell, I'm well, sure. It is. Yeah, I mean, I see homes that are boarded up, but it's kind of really hard to tell if there are sandbags. I would assume uh, this area floods uh, frequently. Um, but I mean, I don't see any sandbags from my vantage point. If I was to walk deeper, maybe um, I could probably uh, check that out. But I mean, that's the thing. You don't want people to uh, come out of their homes uh, in these conditions and then sort of explore on the street. As we know, there's the storm what, drains what and there, there was actually a big puddle pumping out from one of the sewage um, caps that was pumping out water. So we, we know how it is with storm drains and how dangerous.